Yeah, I, I keep thinking you have a Zhao and you you're like good at it. And I'm like, you like you just use your Zhao skills, but if you haven't like worked that line either to that level, then this is probably your first con I think might be your first contact with that kind of play. Cause your other cruisers are different. Like you've got the US cruisers all the way up to ten. You don't have the Italian cruisers that high, do you? You're working on like the the Zara, maybe, I think is where you're at. Am I thinking right? Boy, the Janites. Russians and US. Yeah, so this is like a whole different line for you. It's a different way of being. You have a Tago and you like a Tago, but a Tago doesn't have the range that both Zhao and uh, Martel have. So a Tago is actually one step closer to those US cruisers in my mind because you use a lot of geography to hide behind at, because it's got like 15 and a half click guns or something. And you do do well with the Otago. So I feel like if you take that, like the step you take with Otago away from the US cruiser play style, take one more step that's like that, you know? It puts you a, li a little further distance out. You're sharking around, you're dodging shells rather than using geography to hide. Um, yeah, yeah, that's very much the way to be successful with those like mid-tier and, and uh, Japanese boats and the Otago and stuff like that. Hang on, I've got to oodaloy some Shokaku plans. We did it. And you can do that same hide and seek with the Martel and with the Zhao, but like closer to the edge of their detectability. So you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, then you go quiet, turn away, get skinny, waggle your butt, and then wait for your detectability to drop. And then you get back in close again. It's sort of like a a gun version of what you do with Shimakaze, where you can torp from range or from from stealth. Uh, and then when you get spotted, you use that same technique to, to escape. Again, you you know, you're take, if you take this advice, you're taking advice from a guy who's a full percentage point of win rate behind you. So, you know, bear that in mind. But uh, <laughs> at the same time, that's, that's kind of how I put those ships to use anyway. Ow! So I use. Let's get him! Fire! Soyuz is just letting it burn. Here's Soyuz, a guy who can heal like or, or put a fire out every 30 seconds. And he's like, meh, it's fine. There's two Soyuzes over there? Oh my gosh. Two Soyuzes, an Iowa and a nice now. Hey guys, I found the barbecue. It's over here. Kitakaza, I'm going to need your help. There's so much meat that needs burned. <laughs> Make whatever jokes you want about that comment. <laughs> Oh man. So much sizzle meat. Trying to punch up this Z44. Oh, it's the Z44. No acoustics. I wonder if he's seen my torpedoes yet. Nope. Man, F you guys. I'm taking this boat into clan battles next week. <laughs> I like this boat. This is not the same as clan battles. Oh no, another rack of torpedoes coming for the Z-44. Whatever will he do? Well, he'll dodge them, but then I'll shoot him to death. This is my plan. 
Ah, John Barr taking my kill. It's okay. I will uh, allow it. Oh, that's true. I just now read your comment about insinuating that you burn your barbecue. I meant there's a lot of meat what needs seared. How's that? Is that better? We can sear these ships. Flame grilled, yes. But uh, using words that people like. It's just this absolute cluster of battleships over there. They're just all writhing on top of each other. I feel like Indiana Jones. I'm standing at the top of that pit and I'm like, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Except for I'm like, battleships. Holy crap. It's a whole bunch of battleships. Actually, have range on that guy with him in reverse. <laughs> hey, I found this uh, aircraft carrier rocket planes. I guess I'll use my turbo AA on this guy. That is the last time that squadron will dare shoot rockets at me. Gosh, I hope, because I'm trying to kill the heck out of you. No, he's got a chance. He's going to dare shoot rockets at me again. That is not how this is supposed to go. You insolent whelp. Shots on that guy because I can. I can't tell if Shokaku's coming for me with those torpedo bombers or not. He might be. And if he is, that's his own it's his own problem. Get that guy. Dude, this is just such a wonderful battle for me. I, I We do need to win it, though, is the thing. And I'm only sort of helping by keeping these guys back. I'm, I'm <laughs> You know what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm preventing them from getting the benefits of Deadeye. This is what I'm doing out here. Hey, mother effers. There's people up close to you. No Deadeye for you. Move these shots back onto that superstructure. I'm bouncing off those guns, getting a lot of shatters. There we go. Now we're getting damage. He's turning his guns. I just moved a little bit, and now I can still see him because he was brave enough to shoot at me. Benson is over there. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Benson, for spotting him again. You beautiful, beautiful American destroyer. Woo! Let's friggin' shoot this guy. All right. So Iowa is tired of my BS. He's tired of my nonsense, and he's coming. He's coming down to my office to give me to fire me. He's like, you know what? This guy can't work here anymore. No sir. Luckily for me, look, that's two destroyers that appear to be on trajectory. Oh yeah, come on, buddy. You know you want those, those torpedoes. Just one? No, he takes two torpedoes. Now I still have a launcher on my left side. Let's go see if he wants a couple more. Swinging about. Bring it about! Oh no! Your hole! What happened to it? 
He might not even need more dis more torpedoes. He might just need some guns to really reach his final form. I am very disappointed that the Benson took that kill, but I think it was collaborative. We worked on it together. Benson. Oodaloy. Team of the week. Not to mention Missouri over there. Also working the working the situation. We gotta capture area B. Capture area B. All of this killing over here, all of this damage is only worth so much if we don't win the game. Udaloy is so good. Nobody thinks this but me. I am like the only person, I think, who likes this book. I guess I should look it up on WoW's numbers and see if it has a good reputation or not. See if it's actually, you know, a damage getter, a game winner, a frag getter. We'll find out. And it's also got a fun nickname, the Noodle Boy. I mean, what doesn't this ship have? I guess stealth. Uh oh. Uh, well, let's kill those airplanes. Friggin' rocket planes are coming to get me again. Benson scared the Soyuz with his torps. Kind of expected that might happen, so I figured my, my torps would be loose. I didn't think he would sprint that hard to get out of there. Soyuz definitely should have known we were coming. We were over there murderating his other BB buddies. So, yeah, those all of my torps are, are wasted torpedoes at this point. That's okay, because I got guns, too. The Udaloy is rad. It's, I didn't realize it had 10-kilometer torpedoes. I think that that was not an always thing. All right, Perfect. Jensen, you got the last one. I'll take this one. That's It only seems fair. Um, I feel like the Udaloy used to have 8-kilometer torpedoes, and nowadays it has these 10s, which makes it fit in a little bit better on that Grozovoy line. Uh, this boat is so rad. We are 4k away from a pizza party. That's 100,000 damage. Captain always promises a pizza party for good behavior. We gotta get into B. Remember earlier when I asked y'all to get into B, Benson? Let's do it, son. Meantime, I'm gonna throw some shells at this other Soyuz because we were we were blessed with two enemy Soyuzes this battle. Ooh, yeah, we've definitely flipped the tables. I gotta say, I've been watching, and this guy has been over here all by himself this for a while. Um, he's been a linchpin. There's like five dudes over there, and Scott has been over there posted up with that Missouri <laughs> slugging shells. I think he's had some help maybe from this JB or somebody else, and there were some other allies over there that have since passed over to the other side, but hot dog, dude. It's been a long time he's been over there effectively on his own. He's been holding it down. And that's 100,000 damage. We did it! Woo! Six figs. I hit a hull repair here. It's fun to get dreadnoughts and destroyers, and this is one where you can do it. Those shots are coming for Friedrich. I don't want them to accidentally hit me. That happens. <laughs> All stations. Sure, I'll try to steal that kill. Got to put that platform down. We can't afford to have the damage, the source of damage out there. So, I, my goodness, that took a lot of tries. We also got a low health fan task, or is it a Kitakaze? It's a Kitakaze over there. 
that I don't really want to have out in the world. I've used all my hull repairs. I've used all my turbos. We are we are running out of resources, kids. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. I'm gonna throw just kind of a general torpedo dragnet over there. I know that I'm awfully close to that nice now, right now. But I'm also just feeling sort of confident. I'm like leaning in my chair to help my shells reach their target. <laughs> oh man. Nice now is not even bothered by me. He does not care. He couldn't be bothered to adjust his course. No, sir. That's fine with me. Only got one on him. I was really hoping for two. I'm not going to kid you. That's an F-11 for that guy. Well done. Nice job, Scotta. Good shot. You find that kidda? There he is. Let me see if I can help. A couple of different... Oh my goodness, Shokaku just says, No! Don't do it. <laughs> oh man, hot dog. 132,540 damage. Udaloy good ship. That's just all there is to it, people. Hey, uh, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Let's see how it went. 212, 212 hits, four torpedoes, 10 airplanes in a carrier match. I'll be honest, I think the carrier, they, he did come and attack me a number of times, but this thing has turbo AA. It's got decent air anti-air anyway. It is a good boat. And it's a Shokaku, uh, which is a tier 8 aircraft carrier. Let's remember that was not a Manfred von Richthofen. That was not an FDR. Um, I'll walk away with the top guy spot there. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to have it because I feel like there was some good play um, from more than just me in that battle with 1986 base. Now remember the last battle we had that dude that had 2700 base. That person was writing checks. That was just happening. Um, detailed report 50,000 damage that Iowa. That's the one I hit with multiple torpedoes. Uh, two torpedoes for 22k, a um, couple of fires for 12, and then 89 individual gun hits on that guy. So I use I burned out, I think is how I killed him. Destroyed by fire, yeah. Stole the Ismail, that did barely even count. It's 798 damage, but uh, we needed him deleted. A um, couple of torps here, or one torp, but it looks like on the nice now with some, some gun hits to, to boot. So yeah, a pretty good match. You know, if you've got a good situation where you can put that thing's guns to work, you can use its smoke. So the, the great thing about Udaloy is the same thing that's great about uh, Grosway. And I just realized now this sounds like an advertisement for Skata, who's uh, getting a little tired of that line, um, that destroyer line. But the great thing about Udaloy is all the great things about Grosway. It's got repair party, smoke, turbo hull repair and turbo AA and five charges of turbo AA by the way so you can kind of do a little bit of everything um, the Ognavoy is not quite so blessed uh, with all of these wonderful powers but Udala is friggin good um, I am playing this in clan battles there's nothing you guys can do to stop me